Hey folks, welcome back. <clears throat> it's been quite a while since I made a video. Uh, kind of got busy with the uh, life and work and stuff happening this summer. Really wasn't too much to say this uh, this summer. We were in a really bad drought. Basically started in July and uh, really didn't rain at all here till probably October. So the uh, late summer flow was non-existent. The fall flow lasted about two days and otherwise just feeding a lot of sugar water trying to keep them alive and keep them uh, keep some food on them to get them uh, winterized for the year um, here the last couple weeks I uh, put all these hives together and then today I've added the uh, insulated concrete blankets uh, it's the 18th of December we've got some below zero temperatures coming at us single digits here so I thought it'd be a good time to get the, the blankets on them to try to help insulate a little bit and keep some of the cold north wind off of them. So I've got <clears throat> my hives in different packs here. Um, we're about 45 degrees a day. It is, the wind has picked up a little bit. But the bees are kind of out flying around a little bit. Cleansing flights and such. Not a lot of activity, but there is, there is some in most of the hives. And then... Uh, they're all pretty much like that whatever I have stacked together here at the yard so I just put them in clumps of 10 to 15 give or take get the concrete blankets on them get some weight weights on the top to keep the wind from blowing them off then I just ratchet strap them together um, I decided not to do any uh, dry sugar just yet all these hives are fed up pretty good going into winter um, they had all all have some pretty good weight on them so I didn't really feel like sugar was necessary. Um, the last couple years when I have put sugar on, there's only been just a handful of hives that actually took the sugar. And that really wasn't late until late in the year, you know, like uh, middle of February and March maybe, and they would start hitting that sugar. So I'll just kind of reevaluate hives as we go through the winter, kind of see how they're coming along. Whenever we get a nice day, maybe crack them open and, and see if they're running through stores. But uh, I just decided against sugar this year. Uh, the yard I have up north by Kansas City, it's uh, far enough away. I only get up there every month or six weeks. I went ahead and put sugar on them a couple weeks ago while I was up there. Um, just because I can't get to them that often and, and check on them. He's here at home. I can just uh, walk out back after work, whatever, and check, so it's a little bit easier. But So anyways, they've got sugar, and I use the feed rims like I had last year. So it's just a, a one by three, dump five to seven pounds of sugar on some freezer paper, and uh, just do it that way. But anyways, this is what I do for winterizing the hives. It's the same method I've been using for several years now. It's worked out pretty good, um, so I'm going to probably keep doing it. I have done a few treatments of oxalic acid vapor on them. Um, probably the week of Christmas, it looks like the temps are going to be back up into the mid 40s. And uh, I'll probably try to do, let the kids go by in the four wheeler there. <clears throat> probably do try to do one more uh, vaporization on them here around Christmas time. Just try to knock the mites back, any that I missed. Um, right now, I would assume there is hardly any brood at all in these five over fives and my bigger hives there might be a very small patch of brood but the last time I cracked these open and it's been a month or so but there wasn't hardly any brood at all so they pretty much stopped laying and I gotta imagine right now there's really nothing so it would be a good time to uh, get some oxalic acid on them and uh, knock down whatever mites are left so we'll be trying that and uh, Try to post a few videos this winter as uh, time allows and weather and such, but there really isn't much to see right now. It's not the time of year where you go opening them up, breaking the propolis and stuff. You just leave them where they are. If they're queenless, there really isn't anything you can do for them. Uh, but the only thing you can do is add feed if they need feed and try to keep them warm, try to keep them out of the wind, um, and that sort of stuff. So uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.